Just wanted to do a short video. A lot of people that follow my channel and have for years uh, have been asking, what are we doing with dad's tractors? So I'm gonna do a brief, short video on what's become of them. The 2010, he wanted it to stay on the farm. So uh, Chris, my youngest son, took it apart, got the, uh, or took the, the hood off and the front cowling area and rebuilt the radiator. So it's all up in good shape now. The John Deere 60 standard, dad gave that to my son, Chris. And as you can see, uh, the flywheel cover is off right now. We are, or he is getting the starter rebuilt. He went through it and rebuilt the carburetor and the sediment bowl. My oldest son, Steve Jr. and Chris took off the hood and the front nose cone, got the gas tank out, and Chris relined that, cleaned it, um, because it was very cruddy from years of just sitting. So this one we have gotten running, it's up in good shape, but right now we're getting the starter rebuilt. And then the John Deere BR, that's the very first tractor that dad and I restored together. That's staying, that is mine. Dad gave a lot of his tractors to family members, you know, ones that he thought would appreciate it. And this old Moline R is going to my cousin Donnie. Chris and I did get that running again. There was a Massey Harris pony that sat in the little shop area next to my John Deere B. That went to my cousin Gary. And Gary took it home, got it running, and it runs real nice. I was over and seen it a few days ago. As we come into what we call Dad's Museum, those of you that have been watching my channel can remember me walking through here several times, and it was tractors on one side and the other with a walkway between. And you can see a lot of those tractors are gone. So I'm gonna explain what happened to those. We're gonna have an auction sale to sell the remaining tractors that dad did not give to a family member. So that Moline RTS will be going up for auction sale. These tractors dad got in running, parked them, and a lot of them haven't ran in 10, 10 years. This RTS is one of them. It's gotta have a new battery. Sediment bowl uh, is gone. I don't know where that's at, I've been looking. So I'm, we're gonna sell these as is. I don't have the time, nor does any of my family members have the time to go through and get them running again, like they did. This Moline BF is also going to be going up for sale. It's got a few things that need to be done to it as well. They all turn over. Um, the auctioneer service told me that they would bring more money if we'd have them running, and I told them that I don't have the time and neither does anybody else in my family to try to get all of these running in time. So we're just gonna sell them as is, where is, but they were, they're all, they all turn over. There used to be a John Deere H that sat in that spot, and we have sold that one to a collector. And then there was, well, the BR, the BR sat next to that, and then the GP would have been about right here. The GP was my brother Mark's. Him and Dad owned that, sort of, so to speak, together. And uh, Dad gave that to Mark, and Mark decided the best thing for him to do would be to sell it. He has no room for it. So we have this Moline Z and that will be another one that goes for sale on this uh, auction site. As you can see, we've really cleaned out. Tractors have gone to family members and, and been rearranged. This John Deere AR, that will be going to uh, sale as well. So will this Oliver 60 standard. Nice little tractor. Uh, next to that is the 1931 Huber that was my grandfather's tractor and that will be staying with me 
And when I'm gone, that will go on to one of my sons. In this corner here was a Minneapolis Moline U that went to my cousin, no, I'm sorry, that went to my nephew, Mike. And the John Deere A wide sat there where the Rumley oil pole replica is. That went to my oldest son, Steve Jr. The Silver King back here in the corner, that will be going to my niece, Adrian. And then the John Deere L will be another one that goes on the auction sale, as well as the Rumley oil pole. That's a replica. We don't really know what we're gonna do with this, this, <coughs> with this old Rosenthal corn sheller, corn husker, I guess is what it is. Uh, we'd like to have a museum take it, put it on display for a while. And uh, so far I haven't found anybody that's willing to do that. So the old shop, as we used to call it, the museum looks pretty bare, but that's just part of the process. And dad did say that he told me a couple times, well, Steve, you're gonna have to have an auction sale when I'm gone. So that's what we're gonna be doing with some of them. I'm so glad that family members were given some of these tractors. They'll stay in the family and uh, that makes me happy, makes all of us happy. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this up, call it a video, say thank you for watching, and until the next time, take care and God bless.